Hi guys, I'm so lucky today to have Grant Campbell with us. Hello. Could you share a few words about yeah. yourself? Uh, my pleasure. Um, I, uh, I've been eating raw vegan for 14 years. I'm an ultra marathon runner. I run retreats in Thailand. Um, I love just pursuing a healthy, happy lifestyle, um, much like Rennie. And yeah, I, I really love connecting with people and just um, growing, just pushing, pushing my limits on how much I can grow and, and just be the best, have the best life experience I can. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Beautiful. So could you share with us uh, what was the biggest challenge in the very beginning of your raw vegan journey? Uh, biggest challenge in the beginning of my raw vegan journey. That would begin with the first, the very, the decision to actually go raw vegan. Mm -hmm. um, because I didn't find it easy. I, I found it easy to go vegan, a cooked vegan diet for, for the animals, for ethical reasons. But when I was going raw vegan, I didn't know all the reasons for going raw back then. I didn't realize there could also be ethical reasons and environmental reasons, but I only was aware of health reasons. So I was thinking, do I really want to go raw vegan just for my own health? Mm -hmm. And I was like, no, I'm not going to give up all those tasty foods just for my own health. <laughs> um, and, but then I realized that was actually me thinking that I wasn't worth making that change. The animals were worth making a change, but I wasn't worth, wasn't willing to do it for myself. So yeah. I was like neglecting myself. And it was, it wasn't, it made me realize I actually didn't have the self love for myself that I thought I had. And so, um, but as soon as I realized that, well, then I was able to, you know, within, within, within a day or so, I, I, I made the decision to go raw because it was like, of course I want to do it for myself. I do love myself and I am worth it. Of so. course, we're all so worth it. So remember about it when you this take a decision uh, of your next step on health journey or whether to go raw or to go vegan remember about it you're worth it every single one of us is worth it so what other struggles you had along the way on your raw vegan journey um yeah like so like i've been raw vegan for 14 years the first six and a half years well, firstly, I was cooked vegan for six and a half years. That gave me a sort of stable base in that type of eating. And then, um, so I'd already given up animal foods. And the first six and a half years of, as a raw vegan, occasionally I would just have emotional issues because I wasn't satisfied in my career or my relationships. And um, and I, yeah, I, I just, I, I would find myself uh, on an unconscious level kind of emotionally drawn, emotionally drawn to hurt myself with food and I would go and buy some street food, some fast food that would be vegan, but it would be like fried vegan, greasy, you know, kill yourself street food um, that really harmed my body. It, like my, my legs would swell up because I wasn't used to eating salt anymore. And um, uh, it would, like I, I had blood in my poop one time because I, you know, just ate stuff that just irritated my like intestines that, that had become like nice and sensitive and delicate that are really good at absorbing fruits yeah. and vegetables and mm -hmm. then and then all of a sudden I was putting down like some Indian um, vegan Indian street food kind of thing with spices and, and mm -hmm. it's just like it just irritates so it, yeah so it cre creates like some pretty severe he like health situations where your blood pressure is going really high and yeah. if you just go like go from an extreme diet with being really healthy to really unhealthy and Yes. But I, but but that was my journey, and that was necessary to do that. And it was only short, like it, it, it was over six and a half years. But it was only like it might have been like after two years, and then maybe another couple of months later, and then and one year later. Or like I, I never knew when it was coming because it always took me off guard. It was emotional experiences that I hadn't figured out how to deal with, or like new experiences, or like having my heart broken in a maybe yeah. in a different way to what had happened before, or yes. something like that that just catches you off guard, and. Um, and the next thing I would go back to my food as an escapism to to bury my problem temporarily. So yeah. it wasn't a conscious decision to hurt myself, but it, I just was drawn to it, and I didn't put out, I didn't have any defenses. I just let myself do it, and um, and then I not only had my original problems of of um, feeling lost and um, having issues in my life, but but then I had the problem of the addiction, yeah. the the shift in perception that happens when you practice being weak when you practice 
being um, a coward, really, like mm -hmm. running away from your problems. Yeah. And so, um, you know, so the, the way to succeed was to, to um, just practice being brave and, 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 and aligning with my core values and, and being true to myself and that built integrity. And then, then I was able to sustain it for the, for the last seven and a half years without, yeah. without any temptation or wow. desire. I, I just, I'm, I can appreciate smells of things, but like I've just, I hurt myself enough times. I don't, I don't yeah. have any desire to harm myself anymore. Like, like truly and that's and for many years I felt I feel I guess I was maybe doing it a bit more out of willpower and discipline um, not realizing I didn't really have that deeper reason like that that self-love and, and like 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 I would never harm you know hopefully no one would ever harm a baby or a child yeah. or, a, but, yeah. or, a, or a puppy or a, a, any animal but ourselves as well we're animals too and, yeah. and we need adult <laughs> you know, sized portions of exactly. nurturing and love and so once I realised that and started giving that to myself, um, you know, life got more beautiful and it, and it got really easy <laughs> to look after my needs because I was actually here looking after myself. I became my own angel, you know, like, and I stopped being, stopped sabotaging my own health and stopped getting in the way of my success and, and just life's been beautiful ever since. Yeah, so your biggest motivation to continue when you faced all these challenges um, was self-love, I guess? Uh, My biggest motivation to continue. To continue when you, when you were going through all this struggle and cravings and back and forth. Um, to continue on loving your lifestyle. I, I, um, that's a good question. I, I I believe in um, you know, I believe that we're here for a reason and and that all the things in life that give us true pleasure not not corrupted values and things but things that give us true pleasure yeah. in life are beautiful things like it's nice to talk to people and connect yeah. people and touch people and yeah. like if it's you know if it's appropriate <laughs> yeah. um, and so my my journey was one where I pursued the beautiful things in life um, because I you know I, I believe in dreams I and and, and um, I believe I can live a dream life and um, that I can you know so so my journey has been one of learning and exploring how to connect more with people understand people understand myself connect more with myself have a good relationship with food have a good relationship with other people have a good relationship with animals the environment or just whatever everything like a good environment in here my self-talk um, and just um, applying all these things to to explore how to how to have like a really beautiful life yeah. so I, I feel like most problems that people experience I find it just through poor communication and a mm. lack of a lack of talking about things that are meaningful. Yeah, between great insight. People. So, mm -hmm. um, so I think communication has been a huge, huge factor in mm -hmm. things I've learned, gotten better at over the years, just mm -hmm. through experience of seeing what works and what doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So it's a beautiful journey, and uh, it's, and I think it's a life's work. I, I think I don't feel like I'll ever be there and just go, oh yeah, I figured out all of life now. Now I know how to do it. Now I'm an expert. Can always learn more and grow and learn from you know, other people everyone has something special to offer yes um, and your life is uh, seems to be so much more beautiful and fulfilling and full of love than it used to be yeah passion and purpose are abundant in my life and yeah. <laughs> got to be happy with that like, yeah so i certainly am so beautiful yeah. and one last question mm -hmm. is a little tricky but um uh, was there a moment in, on your raw vegan journey that you were embarrassed about at this time but are willing to share now after all these years? Oh yeah, um, the, the best example of that I think I've been sharing for uh, like for probably a couple of, I don't know, a few years now but yeah. not that long, like it was something I I was just embarrassed about eating cooked food again mm -hmm. and, and, and I found that um, in fact, I made promises to myself that I wouldn't um, share it with other people because as um, someone that was 
you know one of the kind of like leaders or like like someone people looked up to as someone with yeah. experience like a long-term raw fooder or whatever raw vegan i felt like i had such an easy transition uh, yeah that i hadn't experienced all the suffering that everyone else was experiencing mm -hmm. with giving up grains and giving so actually intentionally at one point reintroduced grains uh -huh. and i got myself back addicted to cooked food again so you did um, it to feel how in order to feel? have to experience the journey of getting back out of that oh, wow. but i made a rule for myself that i couldn't share that with anybody oh i had to do it alone which is how most people oh, do it God. and that's why i did it that way because like if i if i and i knew that if you get help from people that's the easiest way to do it right but i know most people aren't at that state when they're in that position they don't know that and then unless they've watched you know channels like yours and, and learn in the easy way um, a lot of people do it alone and because they, and they, they are embarrassed and ashamed and they've, they've been trained that way in society yeah. to protect themselves. Yes. So, um, yeah, so I felt um, ashamed. Like I felt, I remember not being able to look people in the eye when mm -hmm. I met like raw friends and stuff when I, I knew that like a few weeks earlier I'd eaten, you know, fried vegan street food or some, some whatever garbage I was addicted to at the time. Yeah. That was, it was always vegan, but it, it was like really harmful to myself, mm -hmm. really bad food. And, um, and it was definitely an addictive thing and it was out of control and not to the point where I got fat or anything but um, and, and it wasn't like every meal but it was it was a problem it was happening like virtually daily like at night time would come and then go back to the fast food store and buy some garbage yeah. vegan food and uh, and you feel terrible it affects your health you, you can't concentrate properly you're um, yeah, you just like lose motivation, you don't feel like exercising, you can't eat as much fruit because there's food like the next morning still in your stomach that hasn't digested from the night before. Yeah. You know, binge, binge eating is like a really ugly thing. So, you know, <laughs> it seemed like a crazy experience that I would do that to myself, but um, it certainly helped me to relate more to other people and it's helped me to help other people, like help relate to other people and help them to get out of trouble when they're struggling yeah, and, um, wow. and well, I, it was re really selfless of you to even think of well, the idea like maybe it. maybe it was just my ego being so clever to like get me tricky me to me to go back to cooked food again but yeah to, to <laughs> I think know. that i know i'm sure that i didn't I, really it was part of the your know, motivation and it was very brave of you and it's especially it brave just of my journey yeah. that you're sharing it now because so many people are going through it all these binges and going back and forth i want to be raw and i'm falling back there's thousands of people like that so you know what another thing i like i never beat myself up i always um if i made a mistake i accepted that and just moved on like and i feel like i was never hard on myself and i feel like that's um, an important thing to do yeah. to keep moving forward so um and, and just accepting that it's a journey yeah and so that you'll now get there you're free. And, and initially yeah. willpower discipline and strictness can help you to make change that's great but at some point you have to be doing it because it's what you truly value it's what you truly believe yes and, and you, because you have self-love and there's just no question about ever choosing anything that's going to harm you it's yeah. like you can ask yourself the question am i doing this out of fear or out of love and the answer should always be love yes that's a great point um when you beat yourself up it's it's, it's the opposite of love and like grant said to move forward to stay on this path you need self-love so instead of beating yourself up you need to just you know forgive yourself and and just move forward out of love and be driven by your heart use your mind still like your heart and your mind but be driven by your heart more than your mind and yes. not don't just use your mind because you get yourself in trouble that's awesome <laughs> those are so great insights and your experience is so deep and so inspirational so if our viewers uh, want to know and learn a little bit more from you how can they do that well, I have a website, rawaussieathlete.com. Uh, Aussie is spelled A-U-S-S-I-E, raw is R-A-W, so R-A-W-A-U-S-S-I-E, athlete, A-T-H-L-E-T-E.com. And that's my YouTube channel, Raw Aussie Athlete. It's my, all the, all the links are on my website, on the contact page. All the details about my retreat are on the homepage of my website. 
Um, very easy to contact and my email address is on my website, grant at rawaussieathlete.com. So I look forward to hearing from you. Yeah. See you around at the festivals and raw food retreat, raw vegan retreats and see you at all the fruit based vegan events around the world. Yeah, and if you're into raw food and into running, you better come to his retreat because this is a perfect place for you to yeah. experience all of it. Yeah, I've done more than about well, I've done about 70 ultra marathons now completed. So it's been a it's been a pretty cool journey. It's the best guy to learn from. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. My pleasure. <laughs> Thanks.